all together. To the teachers, the professors, the clinicians, the students of behavior analysis, to anyone that wants to make a difference in the world, this video is for you. All together. There are leaders in this digital landscape and behavior analysis that are shaping up, and this video is about the people that are pushing for social change and using modern technology and tools. The new age of community and social change in behavior analysis. Before I stumbled into this field, I was lost. With no clear sense of understanding who I was, what the world was like, how things worked. I mean, we've all stumbled into this field. There's this sense of excitement that you get when you realize that you can now understand why it is that we do the things that we do. Things are just so much more clear. And the best part, and the best part is everything's individualized. That is, there's no more need for these blanket treatments, self-help books, etc. You are what matters. We, behavior analysis, can be used to help you. We measure, define, and celebrate success. As you get more into the field, and generally just more into the systems that our field is set up, you realize that there is so much more to go. There's so much more that our field can offer. How about a coffee company? You go out there, you find some distributors and roasters that share the same mission and values that we share as behavior analysis. You go out there, slap some stickers on there that talk about what it is that we know about behavior analysis, create some awesome names, throw those on there, and bam, you got your coffee company. Maybe you're just unsatisfied with the lack of diversity and open forums to be able to talk about sensitive and diverse cultural issues. So what you do is you create your forum and you find out that there's a lot of people that feel this as well. And bam, there you go. Or maybe it's a conference because we're a non-traditional field but our professional events don't necessarily represent that. I distinctly remember in graduate school this this feeling of sense of accomplishment of when I was graduating. Just like that's it, I've done it. But it was being overshadowed by this this sort of fear of losing my social network. I mean, in graduate school, there was 30 to 80 hours a week that I was spending with my cohort, the people that were just so close to me and sharing this passion with me. But like, where was that going to be when I was done? And in the blink of an eye, that was it. It was gone. There's a community of creators, doers, men and women that are pushing the bar forward. They aren't the people that you necessarily read about in your textbooks. They have a computer, a phone, and they aspire to try to push the realms of what constitutes behavioral science. They forge their own ground, leaning on anyone who supports their values and can see the crazy future that they believe in, and rest their ideas and their content firmly on the foundation of behavioral science along the way. I mean, our forefathers and our forefathers have done a lot of the heavy lifting that's, that's gone into building this science. Our science is young, but it's powerful. Now, if you're into this content or the creators that were featured in it, Auburn Coffee and myself want to hear your needs and your story using the hashtag Saving the World. So go out there, create something, a blog post, a video, whatever it is, answer the question, what will you create? And again, a huge shout out to Opera and Coffee for helping make this video possible. Do me a favor, check out their link, check out their most recent uh, blog post. Oh, and I've got a 10% off coupon for their coffee, so if you're into it, make sure to use that. Let them know that I sent you over there. And that's your daily BA. Wait before you click out. Don't forget to share, subscribe. That's actually what's going to make this, this content and this channel grow and work. So do your part, help a brother out. I'll see you in the next one.